I think I grabbed the wrong rain jacket when I was packing and I really only thought it was going to rain one week and turns out it rains all the time in Europe. Um, but yeah, it's quite large. It's very warm though. You know, it's rained so much since we've been in Europe that I don't even think it's waterproof anymore. You know, the food is different. The cultures are different here. Um, it's hard to understand people. Just different lingo. People, uh, people say like, Everybody's what? Got their own slang. Bloke. That's yeah, the. Bloke. That's a good, it's a good one. one. Um, I don't know. There's just a lot of words that I've never heard come out of people's mouths here. <laughs> It was a bit of a struggle when I first came out on tour. Um, definitely just learning how to figure out how to manage my weeks and figure out how to prep for LPGA events. That was a bit different. Um, but definitely qualifying for the US Open and playing really well at the Open was uh, super fun, a great experience, and definitely the highlight of my year. So you, you, everyone says you've got like a really big game, right? Everyone we talk to says, oh, she's so talented. <laughs> right? Do you get overburned with that? Does, that? does that help you in any way or does that hinder you? Or? Um, I wouldn't say it hinders me. Um, it's fun. I think I, I hit it far, so that's kind of the strength of my game. And it's super cool to just come out here and test my game against the best in the world. And it's flushed. Is it really boring to play with Olivia Cowan? She hits every shot perfect. <laughs> Straight down the middle. <laughs> yawn, yawn. <laughs> um, so your game, like everyone says to me, is like going to be suited for bigger tournaments. So you've kind of proven that at Pebble Beach. Yeah, you know, I had a lot of experience at Pebble going into the US Open, so I think that really played to my advantage. And I had a lot of experience in different weathers there. So just having... I don't know, it being the weather that we had um, really helped me out there. I feel like just it's a major week, so you need to come out here and get your course prep done and um, really figure out where your landing zones are, where to miss it, where not to miss it. Um, especially out here, you can get kind of uh, in danger quick off the fairway and just pretty quickly off the green if you miss it. Sure, um, hold your brolly while you hit the shot. Oh, you can. <laughs> You just really wanted the umbrella, don't mind. <laughs> Sit. Yeah, so I um, reached out to Lauren um, to work for Mizuno just because it's so close to my house. And um, it was something in the golf industry, and so I thought it would be a great, you know, in with a golf company. If I ever were to move away from golf, that would be something that I would want to do. And yeah, um, you know, I, I was looking for a part-time job, kind of remote, maybe to reach out, do social media, do something like that. And um, just kind of started that connection with Mizuno and with Lauren and all of the other guys in the Norcross office um, back in America, and yeah, here we are. <laughs> it didn't quite work out to plan. But... Um, no, so I was and I was actually going down to Florida for the off season, and so it, it just didn't work out, and thankfully it didn't. Um, but I, I'm happy that I created that relationship with Mizuno and um, was able to partner up with y'all this and year. And Lauren's looking after you. From yes, what yes, she's been great. I mean, anything that I need. It's at my doorstep the next day. <laughs> Whether she drives it or it's delivered, either way, it's there. Well, I think it's going to be nice. <laughs> Today is not that nice, but um, it's meant to be really sunny and yeah, UK is going to show its best side, so that'll be nice. I quite like it when it's when there's a lot of trees around, tree line, where it's quite tight. Um, so you need to be able to hit the fairway. Um, when it's too wide open, it doesn't really play into my advantage because mm -hmm. I do hit it quite straight. So if it's tight, I kind of, I'm like a step ahead of other people that might hit it further than me, but might spray it more. So um, yeah, tighter courses are definitely more my, my thing. So, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm the longest hitter. I'm quite more average. Um, so driver is probably a popular club in my bag but it is one that I trust a lot so I don't mind if it's quite tight 
and there's like a little gap, like I'll go for it and I'll hit, take my driver out. I, I'd rather try and get into that gap than lay up and have a longer shot in. So um, yeah, I trust the club a lot. Right, talk us through this next shot then. Okay, so you need to see how far I've got. <laughs> okay, so I've got 135 meters. It's probably in between clubs for me between a seven and a six, but I'm going to try and hit a little seven in because it might bounce a bit forward. So, so I'm going to draw it in. Decent. <laughs> Take see, that. Do you see everything as a draw, regardless of the circumstance? Do you just repeat the yeah, thing? I'm not like a real shot shaper. I kind of like to stick to what I know. I don't like to overcomplicate the game, you know, like a lot of people do. I think they try and do too many types of shots, and if they don't quite get it right, it doesn't end up well for them. So I stick to what I like and what I know, and that works for me. So basically, that, that was just you and the flag bunker right and everything else and the shape of the fairway yeah. was irrelevant yeah i mean look golf is already too complicated and it's so hard so i try and just make it as easy as possible for me <laughs> don't ask me anything about the golf swing or whatever i just i just hit it <laughs> this hybrid has been in my bag for six years clk 22 this. What have we got to do? We've got to break that to get it out of the bag. Look at that. Look at that. Sweet spot. <laughs> Everyone's allowed an old favourite card. Yeah, I just can't, just can't find anything better, really. So, it's been in the bag ever since. I want to get another win. And um, obviously, Solheim Cup is always, always a goal. I think this year might be a little bit tight just because the two at the top on LET rankings are just, they won quite a lot last two years so it's quite hard to kind of pick up that those points now heading into it but definitely um, for the next one and then obviously Olympics definitely a goal um, who would you be representing I'd be representing Germany <laughs> yeah I mean I've represented Germany since I was 14 so yeah that's the team that I would play for and that's so that's the that's the more, like the big outstanding thing in your mind then. I think that's my biggest goal at the moment. Yeah, I definitely want to cuz the last time I was reserve, I was first reserve, so if someone would have dropped out, um, I would have been next in. So it was quite close to not getting in. So that's I was a bit gutted. Those things you've talked about Solheim Cup and Olympics, both team events. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you talk about like being with your friends and the yeah. like, social aspect to it. So that kind of shows through a little bit in those kind of objectives, I guess. I think that's what I miss about professional golf is that you don't have these team events anymore. It's all just on your own. So um, having the chance to then be a part of something bigger, like a Team Europe or playing for your country, you know, that is just something, it's just so enjoyable. And um, you just don't get that anymore as an individual sport athlete. And so, yeah, that's definitely one of my goals. I definitely want to, want to achieve that. It's close, so hopefully. Hopefully I'll get there. Win this week. Exactly, oh. exactly. <laughs> then I get it all. So Mizuno players in the field this week, we've got um, Solheim Cup captain Stacey Lewis. Um, we've got Bailey Tardy over from the US. We've got Olivia Cowan. We've got Patricia Schmidt. We've done some bits and pieces. We've done some wedges. Um, we've done some driver work with Patricia yesterday. I think weather permitting, we're going to try and do a bit more this afternoon. Um, We've, we did a bit of work with her yesterday with the new G driver head, um, just trying to tweak some some launch and spin parameters and also some three would work with her as well. So Bailey, we just had a, a bit of a tune up, um, full regrip, loft and lie session, and then she had a go at some stamping. Um, wasn't the, the finest effort we've seen, but you know, she had a good go. I think I think it's a balance. It, it, it kind of goes both ways with when the workshop's at an event for the ladies, because we don't get out to them so much. I don't know if they're quite aware of what we're able to do for them or they don't feel comfortable coming to see us, but you know, we, we tend to have to go and find them and you know, go through the bag and work with them um, rather than them come to us. So 
yeah, you know, it, it, it's nice to, to see them and work with them.